sí me gusta. Caray. And welcome to the Hanoi Bear Challenge Part 2. I have three, one, two, three new bears to sample. I will tell you the price, and I have brought my glasses. This channel will constantly improve <laughs> as I constantly make mistakes. Okay, first off. Dia Viet, this one, came in at just 20,000 dong. That's an expensive beer. The beer Viet was 15, and the Saigon beer was also 15. This one's a little bit more expensive. So we'll start off with the beer Saigon. I'm just sitting outside the front of the hotel. <laughs> See, you can watch people walking past. It's all right, it's all right, there's no aftertaste. I cannot see any alcohol content on there. I'm sure it is alcoholic. <laughs> I just ain't got the content on there. So we're going in for this one. Whoa. All right, got to crouch down to get in the in the picture. That was all right. A little bit better than that one. Third and final, the die of it. Five percent alcohol at the bottom. It's frothy. Oh, oh, it may have been 5,000 dong more, but no, I don't like that. <laughs> I'd go along to say that probably, it's got a little bit of a darkness to it. It's not a dark beer. It's a light beer. Right, this must have alcohol content on it somewhere. No, we have aroma hops. This one has aroma hops. Not sure what that one has. Gold medal brew, premium quality beer from Vietnam. Since 1875. I'm failing. Ah oh man, I brought my glasses down, especially I think it might be on there. Look, it's a really pale writing, 4.3%, I think. <sighs> the Saigon beer's all right. This one also says at the top, very small writing. I think it says 4.3% as well. I don't know why to put the alcohol content. Don't know why it's so small. Don't know. Anyway. It's a tough choice between these two. This one. Oh, no, I don't like that. It's got very malty. You want beer, darling? No, you don't drink beer? <laughs> well, that one, I'm not gonna drink anymore. That, that is, um, it's like, oh man, it's only 5%, but it's got a bit of a special brew a taste to it. Don't know if they've, I don't know how they created that. 
I don't. And one thing I can tell you, I'm getting peckish again. I shouldn't really be eating it's late at night, but there is an Indian restaurant over there. It is really busy. <laughs> I did pop my head in earlier. Well, I looked through the door. That was full of Indians, and they were all eating with a hand. All, all of them. Um, they were really enjoying the food. They were getting I don't know if I want to go for an Indian. I, I, I don't know. Might be pretty good. Don't know. Certainly gets a lot of business in there. Just over there, Indian restaurant. PK Spice. Right, this pickle winner, it's definitely not. That is in third place. The Dia Viet. That, that was 20,000. Dong. And no, not for me. Oh, if you like a strong tasting, hoppy, malty type beer, I might go for that. Right, I've got to pick a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> we do. We have a winner in third place. It's that bad boy. In second place, we're going for the buyer Bayat. I think I don't know if that's the same. That's Dyer Bayat, and that's Bayer. That's got a B, and that's got a D. Quite easily get them mixed up, I could. So the winner is this one, the Saigon. The buyer Beer, Saigon Beer. That's my winner. That's my firm favourite as well. The, that was a little bit close, but then that one it has got a little bit of a... It's got a distinctive flavour. Slightly distinctive. Slightly distinctive. <laughs> Do you get slightly distinctive? Well, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now you do. You do now. Yeah, slightly distinctive is, is in the scoring category. Slightly. It's, it's not fully distinctive. It's almost distinctive. But this one, I'm having it. That is. So I hope you like my little games I like to play of an evening. And I'll tell you what, today is Monday. No way, I've got the... Well, man, the same boy, tourist, he brings these people here. When I sat there the other day, <laughs> doing a vlog, having my chicken nuggets right there. Right, it's the same guy there. Now he's now brought another bunch of Tommy tourists to eat the rubbish noodles. Man, he must do a good living, that lad. He must do. Because the noodles are poor. They, they really are. I've had enough of noodles. It's like, would you live off pot noodles? Would you? That's what it's like. It's like uh, that's what the food is uh, in the restaurants. It's like you get a pot noodle just in a dish. Um, yeah, that's all it is. That's what it is. I don't know what people. I've, I've had a look on YouTube. It's some I've just scrolled down. I'm looking at um, where I'm off to tomorrow. So I just wanted to make sure I had the right name. I forgot already. But where the mountains are inland, bin something or whatever. But as I'm scrolling down YouTube, you've got all these food things on. They're hitting a million and whatever. And I'm like, it's all that rubbish soup. And I'm like, I'm like, maybe I should chart a bull channel where I'll go on and tell you all alone, like how wonderful. I'm like, wow. And then poop my ring up afterwards. But uh, I don't know. It's just, it's miffed me. It really has. It really has. I mean, that, that guy's taking that, that noodles are rubbish. They are, it's like pot noodle. I think, I think people buy into it though, you, you, you know. I think that's what it is. They want to be toured around, they want to be sold the dream. They, I don't know why, but that's what tourists, if people come to countries, they get taken around and they, they, don't, get, uh, they don't get the truth. They don't, they don't. All they get is what some guy's telling them from Islam uh, or whatever. I am. Um, well, so now I well, I don't do the tourist stuff really and try to leave them alone or go on this tour guy. I just like, it's no. God, it, I, I just find it incredible how people who would come all the way to Hanoi, Vietnam, and then have someone take them round. Well, why would you do that? You might as well stay at home and just watch me on the telly. It's, it's virtually the same, isn't it? You save yourself a fortune. <laughs> and, and you get a lot more, you, you get a proper idea of what it's really like. 
yes, so there you go, mate. We'll keep things the same. We won't, uh, we won't have a bull channel, though. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep slogging on. So, by a beer cycle on lager is a winner, and that will be going, unless I... Beer, beer, beer. You want beer? Yeah. You want one? Okay. <laughs> that will be going head to head with the Hanoi beer. Hanoi and Saigon will be going head to head in, in the next instalment. I'm hoping to find three more beers. I might have to go up market and get three imported beers, find a winner there, and then put that head to head with the Saigon and the, the Hanoi. I think that's what I'll do. So cheers. Mm. Oh, thanks for watching. And until next time, hang on, hang on a minute. Now I'll stick with the winner. Thing of it is, now these beers are starting to warm up, they're not ice cold. The, the flavour changes. They become more, the flavours become more intense and more malty. Once they're ice cold, it, the, 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 the coldness suppresses the flavour slightly. It does. But it, it, it suppresses the malts and the hops taste. The aftertaste is what that, my opinion. That's what I think. That's what I'm calling it. Oh man. Right then. Till next time, bon appetit.